Please welcome the adorable, the beautiful Holly Hunter, everybody. Huh? Sensational! You look, you, you just look beautiful with your red dress and your your shoes and your hair. It's all, oh, girlfriend. <laughs> you do. You look good. I like your earrings too. These oh. big bulbs. Thank you. You're very confident. <laughs> of course, it could be the double bluff. I might be bluffing and actually not be as confident as I say I am. But I'm not. I'm actually that confident. It, are you? <laughs> Do you play poker? Are I, you going to in Vegas? No, I don't think I will play poker. I'm not. I'm not very good at it. I'm not good at lying. Well, I always... If you're bluffing right now, you're good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not bluffing. I, 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 I'm a confident man. <laughs> oh hey, it's just, it just happened. You know, it's luck of the draw. You know, that's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> do you like a, do you, you, do you like a confident man or do you like someone who's shy or? I like a, a, a needy, insecure person. You, oh, you do? Oh, that, yeah. that's an interesting choice. Um, do you remember, do you remember um, Albert Brooks in, in Broadcast News, a, a movie that I did in, in the that's 80s? That's a great movie. I, I love, love that, that movie. movie. Yeah, but, yeah. but Albert Brooks says, it's what if needy... Altogether or not at all, all right? <laughs> Thank you. It is a great movie. And you are great in that. That's the first time I ever saw you actually was in that movie. Oh, that's lovely. But you didn't see me. <laughs> I didn't see you. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Um, but Albert Brooks says in the movie what? He says, if only neediness and insecurity were a turn on. Yeah, but they're not really, are they? Yeah, but I don't know. Really? I, I can have a weakness. What is that weakness then? Neediness and insecurity? You like a man to be, oh, Holly, do, do my pants look, does this make my ass look big? All that kind of stuff? <laughs> no, that's yeah. like being a girl. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> do you have some news? Oh, well, uh, you know. <laughs> okay, well, we'll, let, just, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. It's just a thing. Just a little. <laughs> well, it's a kind of very. It's a. I mean, it's a bold statement right there. I know, isn't it though? Yeah. It is. It's very bold. Yeah. For a, a very confident man. <laughs> well, he used to have money at one point. Anyway, clearly. <laughs> Probably not so much anymore. And broke. Yeah, yeah, broke now. Yeah, he's spent all his money. But that's the thing to do. Get it now. <laughs> what about Vegas? Do you ever go there? Uh, for the fights. You like to fight? Um, I like to watch. You like to watch men fight? Yes. That's interesting. I do. Do, do you not? Do you, do you ever go to the fights? I've been to the boxing a couple of times. Are you talking about boxing or the ultimate fight? Well, things? you know, I, I, I saw Pacquiao and Cotto. Did anybody see that fight? Uh. I went to Vegas and saw that fight. And you like box? Not that long ago. It was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, that's why I like to go to Vegas. Do, do you ever box yourself? Do you like to go boxing? <laughs> why not? You could box. Um, no. No, I... Uh... Why, because you have to take your jewelry off? <laughs> I mean, I'm not sexist, but I like to see guys box. I, hmm. I think it's a male thing. Really? See, because <laughs> if I said that about ladies, I'd get into a lot of trouble. You know, you, it's so bizarre for you to even be talking to me with that mug. I mean... <laughs> it's just, Why? It's a phallic symbol. Like... It's a phallic symbol right there. I'm trying to let people know that I've got an enormous, you know, and I use it with it. <laughs> It's just name is given I mean, to me by a friend. Exact, that's not a turn on for, for the ladies, is it? I mean, the mug, I mean... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Who gives a rat's ass here? <laughs> Does it ever occur to you it might not be the ladies that I want to turn on, eh? Man, you're just... I'm European. You're up for it all. <laughs> ah, well, I like... Do you ever uh, go to Italy? I have been, yes. Yeah? Is it a bit like the Venetian <laughs> in Las Vegas? <laughs> Oh, yes. And Is I it? hear that you're going to New York and, Am I? you know, uh, uh, yeah. Though they have a New York-themed casino there as well. Don't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. Where is it? What town are you from? 
up New York. Well, you should go there when you're in uh, Vegas, and it would like be like going home. And, and you're going to Vegas, and then after that, then after Vegas, then you're going to where? Uh, back home. I mean, isn't all of this in preparation for the Big Apple? Oh, yeah, I am I mean, playing uh, New York. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you want to come? I'm playing Carnegie well, Hall. I, I'm going to be there. Yeah, well, I, it's sold out, but I, I, I can October get you in. October 23rd. I, I'll get you in. I, I, I want to I wanna Did you see, buy a ticket already? I want to see you at Carnegie Hall. Yeah, I, I'd like to see me at Carnegie Hall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool, that. It's, apparently, it's bigger than this studio. It, it is. It is. It's very different. Did you ever, did you ever <laughs> see anything there before? I have. What did you see? Um, actually, Esapekka Salonen, who has been I'm the... I'm sorry, I didn't I know. speak that. <laughs> Esapekka Salonen, who was the conductor of the L.A. Phil, uh, has also conducted at uh, Carnegie and, and, you know, at the Met in New do York. You, do you enjoy the classical music? I do, I do. What kind of classical music do you enjoy? Oh, well, uh, Beethoven I love, uh, really? Mozart, uh, yes. I think, I sometimes think Beethoven's a bit bleak. I don't know if that's true. I just made it up. Sounded kind of... <laughs> it sounded, sounded good, though, didn't it? Sounded, it? it sounded made up. Yeah, well, it is made up. But you have to... See, that's the whole thing. It doesn't matter what you say as long as you say it with confidence. See what I'm saying? <laughs> like, have, do you ever go to these art galleries in New York? Do you ever go to the openings? No. Why not? You don't like painting? <laughs> that, you don't like painting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Do you, you, you just listen to classical music and you don't like painting? I thought you'd love painting. Visual. You don't like visual things? No. Really? Because you changed your <laughs> mind with the ring, didn't you? <laughs> like, oh, I don't care what it looks like that one. <laughs> no, listen, I had nothing to do with this. This was a... He sprang this on me. Yeah. Um, I mean, but we've been together for nine years. We have... Two children, you know. Yeah, well, so we needed to make know, them legitimate. Some people have dessert before they have the uh, before they have the man. You know, you can eat it. It's like play with the structure. You know what I mean? And and you do that very well. Yeah, you just mess around with it. It's all right. So are you gonna yes. then? Did you not want to? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, you know, who knows if this is gonna go to that? I, I don't know. Oh, well, I think it probably is. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole idea. This is very interesting. This is a GPS mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> and will actually relay my position 24-7 to wow. command center at home. Wow. And that is, uh, that, that, does that make you nervous? Nah, it would have in the old days, but now I'm like, oh, well, he's in Dunkin' Donuts again, you know. <laughs> now, tell me about the, the show. Is it, is it cancelled? Did they cancel the show? They did. Oh, well, what are you going to do now then? Well, you know, I have a life. <laughs> well, you, you go I mean, I had a very beautiful life on the show. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, I no. love the character. Right. I love the character. I'm, I'm, you know, very excited about these last shows that that we've got going. Uh, and I, you know, I love my life. I love my family. I'm looking at your family there. Um, yeah, anyway. that's my family there. Yeah, I, you know why I keep that's it? That's quite lovely. Yeah, I keep a, a picture of my son there. I never put it on the TV, but I keep it there so that when I'm going through this crap, I think, why do I do this crap? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's one. <laughs> wow. Next to the hand sanitizer, that's interesting. Well, I don't know. You gotta have hand sanitizer because some of them movie stars are disgusting, Holly. <laughs> I mean, really, they come out here. Here, you want some? No, no, no. I'm fine with you. I mean, maybe, maybe, you know. You might. I'm you know. totally cool. Really? Yeah. Are you not into the hand sanitizer? Well, that's kind of disgusting. Why, why is hand sanitizer because disgusting? Because I'm on the show right now. Couldn't you at least wait till I'm gone? <laughs> that would, no, that, that would be worse. Then it'd be looking like, oh, Holly Hunter was on, everybody. <laughs> no. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. No, it's just nicer if we just it, both Yeah, do we it. can both do it. It's kind of like you shouldn't be afraid of cleanliness. Whoa! <laughs> it comes off. I don't want to get that nasty stuff on my beautiful Yeah, it's a sparkler. very it's a very nice piece of sparkly. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, um... <laughs> you better pick it up. I'll steal it. <laughs> no, uh, I saw that I was going to have to make a move All right, now. May I see? May I see it a little bit? Oh, please, it, go ahead. All right, then. What lovely, delicate fingers you have. Not really. No, they're, they're small. Trust me, I wish you were my doctor. <laughs> wow, that was fast. That was well. You're going to do really well at Carnegie Hall. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of doctor jokes. 
Yeah, well, here, you, you better... They like them in New York. Yeah. The doctor jokes. Yeah, there's a lot of doctors there, isn't there? That's, <laughs> that's where all the hospitals are. That's where you go. There's doctors everywhere. They're like... Not enough. They're like trees. <laughs> there's not enough doctors, apparently. Yeah. What age are your kids? Uh, work with me here. What age are your kids? <laughs> don't talk about them in public. All right, well, but there are children, right? Would you encourage them to well, be I mean, doctors, I'm neither, is what I'm saying? I can't deny or confirm. The existence of children. Right. Oh. <laughs> so when you said, I have got two kids earlier yeah, on, you meant goats. Could you meant it could, it could possibly be. <laughs> I, mean, I have two small goats that I keep whatever. in my apartment. <laughs> exactly. Right, okay. So... You know, it's not inside edition here, you know. I mean, you can just... <laughs> I, I, I'm not trying to, you know, probe. Oh. How old is your, how old is your child? I'm sorry, I don't wish to confirm or deny <laughs> the existence of my nine-year-old son. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah he's oh, wow. Not, yeah, he's not. That's a age. magical age. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. No, he's very, he's very, very nice young. Right man. on the verge. Verge of what? Well, on the verge. On the verge of what? Many things. <laughs> What are we talking about? Well, uh, why are you acting, you know, innocent? I genuinely don't know what you mean. <laughs> On the verge of what? You mean like... Puberty. Uh, oh, he's I got mean... years to go, man. That, that, with Scottish no, people, no, that hits about anymore. 40. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hey, do... Uh, we don't has do... he ever eaten haggis? I mean... No. No. And, and it never? He wouldn't touch it. I can't get him to eat vegetables. And, and has it, ha, have you ever eaten saveloy? What's that, fish? You don't know what saveloy is? No, what is it? Neither, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't mean to stop the conversation. <laughs> it happens here all the time. I wouldn't worry about it. We actually build them in now. The awkward pauses. <laughs> we do. Would you like yes, to do sir. one? Yeah. Oh, great. Did you do one last time you were here? Because you don't get to do two. It's like um, uh, a Peabody Award. But didn't only... we just do one? Didn't we just have a big pause? Big pause? Yeah. Do you like bears? <laughs> bears have big paws, some of them. One of the bigger ones. Have you ever seen a bear? Pinter. Huh? Pinter. He has pauses. Pinter? No, no, Harold Pinter, yes, he yeah. has pauses, yeah. None of these people know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about a bear. Never mind Harold Pinter, who's, you know, his excellent work in the theatre has radicalised, you know, modern drama. I'm talking about bears. Ever seen a bear? No. Let me ask you again. I, I never have, and, and, but I've thought a lot about it. Let me... <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> All right, I will ask you the bear question again, but now we are in a Harold Pinter play, and I'm about to ask you if you've ever seen a bear. It's not going to work. What do you mean it's not going to work? It works don't... for Pinter all the time. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Have you ever seen a bear? Pretty good. I, I, like we just did nothing. They just gave themselves a round of applause. It worked pretty well. By, it's, uh, by the way, it's a sausage, a savoy. How do you know? I, I knew it the whole time. That's the twist at the end of the play. 